As it stands, Daniel Ricciardo has two more races left in Formula 1. He is still yet to confirm his plans for 2023 and beyond. Most speculation is pointing towards a reserve driver role with an attempt at returning to racing full-time in 2024. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, did Lewis Hamilton just close the door on Ricardo's F1 future completely? One possibility being thrown around was that Daniel would take up a reserve role at Mercedes and then replace Lewis Hamilton if he did not continue beyond 2023. However, Hamilton put an end to this speculation by confirming that he intends to renew his contract with Mercedes. Daniel gave his reaction to this as quoted by F1's official website. The truth is, I want him to stay in the sport. He's one of the greatest ever to do it, and I think competing with him, going wheel to wheel with him, is fun. It's awesome. He hoped to fight Hamilton on track in the future. It's normally at the pointy end, so I certainly wish to do that more in the future. He then revealed if Hamilton's admission affects his future plans. That's where it currently lies. I think my future will be... I don't think it's relative to what others do. I think it's... how do you say it? Like opportunities will arise when they do. But I'm not banking on anyone doing something so I can find my way. Fast feed. Ferrari's Carlos Sainz doesn't think he needs to give any more praise to Max for what he's done this year. For sure, he's evolved in every single area. It's fair play to him, and now he's maximizing also having a competitive car. Which is something that you need in Formula 1 in order to win. If not, you're never going to win. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton thinks social media is getting more and more toxic as the years go on. I think we should all probably get off it. Social media platforms definitely need to do more to protect people, particularly young kids and women. But at the moment, they're not doing that, so I think this will just continue. Red Bull's Max Verstappen concurred that it's not great that they're allowed to write this kind of thing. I hope that we can come up with a kind of algorithm that stops people from being keyboard warriors. Being upset and frustrated, they feel like they can write whatever they like because the platform allows them to. McLaren's Lando Norris suggested that not everything in Formula 1 is about performance. And even when we lacked a little bit, I think we do a very good job in every other area, which is the reliability. Ferrari's team principal Mattia Bonotto is confident his drivers will tell him that the car was not turning in Mexico. The reason has to be looked at, but we do not have a clear explanation right now. We were not as efficient, and we didn't have the capacity to at least run at maximum power there. Will Ferrari fight for the championship next year? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.